One of the things that is very interesting when you look at ponds and lakes is there's a succession that they go through. This pond earlier this year was pretty much open water all around and then these sedges started growing up from the bottom and came through and now they, they and the evaporation have taken most of the water out of the pond and this pond is completely filled with vegetation. Eventually all this vegetation will die this fall when, when the light gets goes down and it gets cold, that will all fall to the bottom of the pond and become pond to muck as it decomposes over the next few years and gradually this pond will fill in. You can see in the back there's some tall reeds that are starting to grow up. So eventually this pond will fill in completely and become basically a mountain meadow. Okay, now we're going to go over to the, the east pond I guess and you can see where this will be in, a, in maybe five or ten years because of all the cattails that have grown up in that part of the pond. Right now I'm standing right at the edge of the this east pond where it's pretty much all taken over by cattails and the water was never very deep in here, maybe only a foot. Eventually this all these cattails will die and all this vegetation will die and will decompose and form soil that will fill in this uh, this pond and some of these aspens and other trees like that will encroach into the pond and eventually this will just become a meadow area with hardly any water in it at all except for in the very early spring and that will just stimulate the growth of these larger trees and, and shrubs that will come along. But that's a natural progression of open water to grassy substrate in the pond to the cattails to an open meadow. Another thing when you see these ponds with, when there's open water you'll see other kinds of critters like ducks. They like to eat off the bottom and they'll nest along the, the along the banks and you'll see the little ducklings occasionally if you get here at the right time of year. In the other pond across from us where we just were there are turtles in that pond and you can see those sitting on logs when they're in the open water but when it starts to fill in other kinds of animals will, will show up like the, the squirrels and the chipmunks and, and then you'll be able to see those traipsing around in, in, the, in the areas that were the ponds. Lost Pond at this point is pretty much at the, the final stage where it gets water in it a couple of times a year when it rains, but mostly it's just a, a meadow with grasses and, and shrubs now. And that's what all this will become eventually.